Shakespeare Made Easy, Much Ado About Nothing, How to Be the Perfect Matchmaker by Haley Wall, English 10 Shakespeare Video Project. Okay, step one. Find a couple that hate each other. It is easy to spot a couple that hate each other. You will find that they, one, can't get their eyes off each other, and two, can't stop talking to one another. Of course, if looks could kill and words be daggers, they'd both be dead. But don't be fooled by this. They appear to hate each other only to hide their love from within. Once you've found your perfect couple, be ready to start shooting some of Cupid's arrows. Okay, step two. Be a great liar. This means no smizing, aka smiling with the eyes, no laughing, just be serious. If you're not a great liar or have trouble with being serious, aviator glasses will be your new best friend. Now, why do you have to be a liar? Well, in Much Ado About Nothing, Sam Pedro and his friends bring Benedict and Beatrice together, a very unlikely couple, by spreading some juicy rumors. When Benedict eavesdrops to hear Sam Pedro say how much Beatrice is madly in love with him, it leads Benedict to have a change in heart. The same thing happens with Beatrice. You know you have successfully executed your plan when, after hearing the news, the two lovebirds begin to dance around in a fountain and sway giddily on a swing. This may confuse you at first, but don't worry. Love has that effect on people. Step three. Find their secret sonnets. When they finally realize they have been trapped by your witty ways, they'll try to deny their true feelings. That's when you find your evidence, the secret love sonnets they've been hiding from one another. That's when the secret is out. The two are in love. There's no turning back. Pat yourself on the back. You are now a true matchmaker. Shakespeare would be proud. Yay!